I have got myself a bike, I've got a toaster, I've got some bread and a power source. Going to burn some carbohydrates because it's, um, it's carbs, isn't it? Bread, and we're going to burn it like with energy and double meaning kind of, don't want to bother. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. A few days ago, this video randomly popped up on my YouTube recommendations. It is Robert Forsterman generating 700 watts long enough to cook some toast. You might not know the name, but you will almost certainly recognize the thighs. He is an elite track cyclist, famously has 29 inch quads, and according to his Instagram, every day is still legs day. Now the video is a few years old, and I can remember seeing it long before I started doing any cycling myself. And thinking back then, 700 watts doesn't sound very much. And given it's barely enough to turn a piece of bread brown, it doesn't look very much either. Unimpressed. However, now that I have done a little bit of cycling over the last couple of years, I get that holding 700 watts is not quite as straightforward as I thought it might be back then. But I still reckon I could brown some bread eventually. Why so confident? Well, first of all, I did a How Fast Is Bradley Wiggins video earlier this year. Three. Two, it's rock and roll. Oh, oh, that's spicy. 440 watts. In that video, I rode at 440 watts for just over four minutes. 440 times four is 1760. Forsterman did 700 watts for just over a minute. So maths tells us if I had a 440 watt toaster, I'd have toast with a thousand watts to spare. Could maybe boil a kettle as well. Get myself a cup of tea. Got a full on breakfast now. And before anyone jumps into the comments with maths and physics, bear in mind, you're watching a YouTuber in his garage with some bread. And the other reason I'm confident, I did a race on Zwift in here last week. I haven't done much cycling over the last six months, so I'm very slowly working my way back to being a little bit above average, which has meant just coming last in most of my races. But check this one out. The finish line is coming up. The guy out in front goes for it, and I drop a 700 toasty watts to destroy him. And look at this, first across the line, out of the two of us. The other 20 people in the race had already finished. That is not important. What is important is I was no longer last. So here's the plan. I'm gonna set the Wahoo kicker bike up so that no matter what speed I pedal at, the wattage generated will be 700. The bread will be in the 700 watt toaster. As it turns out, that's not a particularly powerful toaster. I was gonna use ours from the kitchen, but that's well over a thousand watts. And Jen said, you're not touching our toaster. So I got this one for 15 pound. If you're thinking, that's a waste. No, it's not. My son is moving out in the new year to his own house. And he was saying just the other day, the cost of living is going through the roof. Interest rates are insane. He's terrified. He's actually gonna be able to make ends meet at all. Could I help in any way? Well, someone's not gonna to need to buy themselves a toaster anymore. And kind of a leftover bread as well. My book on parenting coming soon. So when I start pedaling, the toaster turns on. When I can't pedal anymore, the toaster turns off. If it's brown and crispy, challenge over. I am as good as Forsterman and can wear regular trousers. So really I'm the winner. If it's not brown and crispy, I'll take a breather and go again until it's done. How long till I have toast? How will I control the toaster? Good question. I was gonna rig something up, very complicated, but it dawned on me that I didn't know what that would be. So instead I thought I could ask my dad who used to be an electrician and therefore knows his watts from his amps, uh, but he's about 800 years old and electrics from a different era. We are way past thunderstorms and kites here. So instead, uh, Jen's gonna come in and just turn the toaster off and on. Whew. Right. The bread. <laughs> Great toaster. <laughs> Does the bread not fit in the toaster? Beautiful. Go. <laughs> Is it even warm yet?
It's warm. That's warm. But it's not brown. It wasn't brown. It turns out that even the cheapest, nastiest toaster is still throwing enough energy at a slice of bread that I can't even match it for 45 seconds. Not to worry though, Jen dished out her standard response for a time like this. Rest three minutes, try again. Go. I reckon faster. Come on, there's got to be some brown bits. Is it brown? Yeah. Where? There? Mm -hmm. That's definitely a brown. You can zoom in on the brown. Look. There's a, there's a bit here that's brown. It's not very brown. Oh, my legs are starting to seize up. Bread still predominantly white, legs now beginning to fail. It's not looking good. Unlike my t-shirt, which is now one of the many items available on our website. And where did we get that website? That's right, Squarespace, this video's sponsor. So 30 seconds on them because 15 pound toasters do not pay for themselves. We love using Squarespace because we know nothing about websites and it just doesn't seem to matter. We've been able to create a place for people to go and see what we're doing. They can go and see the gear that we are using, the races that we're going to be taking part in, and yes, now even a place to put our merch. And having done a number of these Squarespace mentions and said every single time that they have an e-commerce solution, which I'm sure is very straightforward to implement, I can now confirm it is because we did it. And if you can drag and drop and type, you're pretty much halfway there. And that actually applies to most of using Squarespace. It's just very, very simple. So if you're interested in your own site, go to squarespace.com, browse the many templates they have available for you to start from, and then just pick one you like the look of. From there, tweak and adjust it to your heart's content. And as I said, it's not just the website templates. They also have those e-commerce solutions. They can sort out all your domain needs, blogs, they have it all covered. So go to squarespace.com, select a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch your very own website, use the code Mark Lewis for a 10% discount. Okay, round three. Okay, this is the one. Go. <sighs> look at this! Look! What's that? I don't mean, I don't mean any no! Look, oh, it's getting crispy. Listen, listen. That's the sound of toast. Right, next one's gonna be it. Not it's not cooked yet, mate. It's not cooked yet. Hang on. Heart's still at 1.30. Give it a second. Okay, I reckon this is it. I reckon this is the one. And we're almost there. We're almost there. Right. Okay, this is it. This is the one. Ha! 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 Whoa!
I can smell it. That smells like toast. That's brownie. There's a patch here that is definitely brown. That, that, that's toasted. Nixon doesn't eat bread, he'll only eat toast. So this is, this is true science. Nixon. Toast. Including the rest breaks, 11 minutes of total time. Just 120 seconds, two minutes of actually pedaling at 700 watts. Calories burnt by me over the 11 minutes, 164. Calories in a slice of bread, 121. Conclusion, unplugging your oven and running it off a stationary bike that's really hard to pedal will result in dramatic weight loss in 4% of the population. The other 96 will starve to death. On a serious point, if you're someone who goes for a jog around the block and then comes back home and now thinks you can eat a slice of cake, unless your block is gigantic or your cake is tiny, it's unlikely. Although I was taking breaks, still the output during the total effort was such that the total calorie burn was equivalent to about 900 an hour. That's the sort of calorie burn I'd expect to see on a pretty hard fast run. And at my size and weight, I'm already burning calories above normal. Just jogging for 11 minutes would not have got me close to covering the calories in bread, let alone cake. Although if I was gonna eat the cake anyway, any sort of activity beforehand would have been better than nothing. Ironically, we're at a point in history where we throw more wattage at day-to-day -day tasks than ever before, and yet hardly any of that comes from us, despite the majority of us carrying around more stored energy, fat, than is even good for us. Okay, drop the video a like, leave your feedback in the comments, and in case you're interested, Jenna conducted a little experiment and put a second slice of bread in the toaster for 120 seconds. No stopping and starting. And here is the result. Her advice, I should really try and last two minutes without taking breaks to get my breath back. Still talking about the bread, I hope.